All right, guys, I had no idea that Panasonic Corporation also made bicycle locks. I mean, I've got electronics, you know, rechargeable batteries, microphones and stuff like that. But these guys apparently produce the SAJ080. I ordered this through uh, eBay, $39. And that wasn't the worst of it. It came all the way from Japan and I had to wait about 40 days for it to get here. So it took the long way around for sure. Anyway, um... Normally, at this point, because this thing is tied on here with zip ties, I would reach for probably one of my disposable scalpels because these things are like super sharp. But today, I got a package from Silent Thunder Ordnance, and they gave me this little guy. It does go all the way together, but I didn't because it's kind of hard to get apart. This is, again, if I can do it without cutting myself, a wicked sharp real scalpel blade and they gave me if i can get it out of the box here they gave me a packet of extra blades to go along with it and you guys can see this is made from i don't even know what kind of wood that is just absolutely beautiful it's got their logo engraved in the side of it there you go so if i can get the light just right silent thunder ordinance and on the other side on the sheath part Bosnian Bill. Isn't that cool? Anyway, no sense of putting it back together. Let's go ahead and use it to cut through one of these zip ties. Probably not entirely the right tool to use for this. In fact, it's not. I'm not going to take a chance. I don't want to ruin it, but I had to show it off. This thing is just beautiful. All right. That comes from, by the way, Ben, Jim, Cece, and Wolf. And the right tool will be this guy, a little pair of wire cutters. A lot faster, right? Not nearly as classy as this thing, but it works. All right, here we go. Let's get this guy out here. Move all that junk out of the way. And let's take a look at this guy. Let's first take a look at the keys. It looks like some kind of dimple lock, and it does have... looks like dimples on the top as well as the side. The profile is identical, so it doesn't matter if you put it in that way or that way. So that tells me that probably only one side of this lock has dimples in it. Make that two sides. We have the top on the left there, and then down on the bottom, let's see, on the top we have, I can see three, and on the bottom we have, looks like three, possibly four pins down there. So we might be looking at as many as seven pins in this bad boy. It is really wide open, isn't it? Let's, let's figure out how to get into this guy. Move that out of the way. Oh, let's first make sure it works. By the way, this is incredibly light. I mean, for almost 40 bucks, I would have expected something heavier. It's almost like it's made out of aluminum. I can't imagine. It doesn't seem like it's very thick. This is all uh, silicone covering up some kind of metal. Let's make sure it does work. 90 degrees. And it does. Um, this shackle is aluminum for sure. No question about it. Yep, aluminum shackle. Or magnesium or titanium or something like that, but very, very lightweight. Let's try to get into this guy. Let's try probably the white one. He's not quite right. Let's try the red one. Get in there. That ought to work. All right. Pick it European style with the pins down over there. And because it's so wide, let's try to rake it. I'm going to try. See if I can find one here. I'm going to try this guy. This little short profile. This is the Sparrow's Worm. Because I believe he will fit in both oriented that way and, of course, this way. So light tension. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's what happens. Open. Panasonic, I got to say, you guys ought to stick to what you do best, and that would be electronics. And your rechargeable batteries are great. Your bike locks, not so much. So if you guys are looking for a good bike lock, don't look at a Panasonic. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. You guys from Thunder Ordnance, thank you, gentlemen. I really do appreciate this, and hopefully it won't result in any real serious injury. Thanks, guys.
Mark